from Emmanuel and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appears. Welcome to day three of Advent Thoughts. I'm outside today and you can see the sort of surroundings around us and you know um, I know you're probably having a little trouble hearing me the mic's not great um, and you may get some psh of the wind blowing at you um, but it was the right setting for what we're going to talk about today um, one of the things that happened in our courtyard we got a lot of wind yesterday um, and it sort of happened, all these trees went up at about the same time, and we've had this happen a lot over the last year, is that the trees have begun to get older, as is what to happen to all of us, and they are starting in their oldness to begin to fall and crack and break. And you saw at the beginning of the video, we lost this giant branch earlier in the year, one of the pretty ones, and we've got a tree over here where a bunch of pieces are down. Something happens as we get older, and it happens to all of us, uh, if you're one of uh, my uh, lovely older people listening, I am not talking about just old people, even me too. We get start to happen as we want to be, we get dried out. We start to get less and less flexible, it happens to all of us. Um, it's just sort of part of the aging process. Um, we do all kinds of things in our physical life to combat that. We take yoga, we stretch, we do all kinds of things to allow our bodies to still move but let me just tell you that at 46 I watched Martin fall yesterday and his feet came up and touched the back of his head sideways his head his foot was almost here I'm exaggerating obviously but he just jumped right back up if I even fell I like I would be in trouble for days but he just jumped right back up kids are flexible in a way that we from the very beginning of their life are and the older we get the less flexible we get I am terribly unflexible in that physical capacity but it happens to our brains too and it starts in a weird way I'll let the wind die down for a second the same way it does at baptism we are spiritually we are baptized and we are bathed in that water and the older we get the further we get from it what can happen is we are not as filled with that flexibility of spirit and mind as we once were. And we become like these trees where we start to break off and snap. This, I just took this off the tree a second ago. This thing, man, look at this. It's, you can move this thing all over the place. You can bend it in half. It will sort of blow with the wind and move wherever the spirit, in this case me, moves it. It's almost impossible to break it, there I finally got it, and even when I do break it, it doesn't want to let go. It wants to stay connected and stay together. With this older piece, this piece that's been up on the tree a little longer, it's seen a little bit more, it's gotten a little dried out. It doesn't have the pliability, I can't bend it nearly as far before it breaks. The Holy Spirit is always moving, always blowing us around. And when we're young and maybe stupid and naive, we just sort of tilt everywhere with it. It moves us all over the place. But as we get older, we get more entrenched in a thought and a belief and a place. And sometimes we're much more able and much more ready to break than we are to move. But the Holy Spirit, in its very principle, moves us and calls us to new places. It's what the Holy Spirit has done from the beginning of time. It moved over the waters and blew the waters back and allowed the Egyptians to pass. It was that same spirit that went to a young woman and said, I got some things for you to do. It was that spirit enfleshed in Jesus as we'll celebrate in a couple weeks, who went to not the fathers who were fishermen who owned the fishing boats, but to the young men who were their sons, the sons of Zebedee and others who saw this Jesus and ran and followed them. 
followed him. We are called in faith to be pliable, to move with the Spirit, to bend wherever it may blow and wherever it may go. Because when Christ reveals himself to the world, we don't want to be the people who are saying, no, that's not the Messiah. No, it can't possibly be because I don't believe it. Where is God moving and blowing you? Where are you meeting him with resistance? And how can you keep yourself flexible and pliable with the waters of the Holy Spirit that you can move wherever he may bloom? Y'all have a blessed day.